Hey guys, it's me Luis. So today we have this one. It's a 2012 uh, Honda Pilot. So we are replacing the windshield and we're gonna use a quick set. So on this one, will be a little different. So we're using from the middle. Uh, we're gonna use just five, and the top we're using ten. Okay, so let's go. Let's put this one out, and I'll be right back to shot with the urethane on the glass. Remember, we're going to support our arm, pull in, in the middle, go up, take them out, and be ready. So now, remember on this one, a difference with the other one is more deep, not too much, so still you can make with this one. So remember on this one, we're working with 10 fingers, or two hands, with the anchor. Usually we use five, but in this case, because we're using in the middle just phi we need to equal the bend of the glass if you go to phi the bend is going to be too much on this area so you're going to use 10 of here and just phi of this one starting from the center to the left just five fingers and you set the quick set because it's the more low part you have you go more over here we're rising the glass more and you touch the corner okay guys so i'm going to clean the body and see you next shot to set this one up all right see you next okay so let's do it remember we're gonna go in set the hands right here we'll soon we get the glass the, the the arm set on the part of the hood the way it's gone because you're gonna set the glass on the wheel and that's it you're gonna go more in inclined you know more an angle so and that's it so let's go it's gonna be easy let me get this one now the position for the suction cup is gonna change a little bit remember and this one we have two, just for the pilots. Regular, you only use one. And on this one, we use two and one. But this case, you're gonna use one and one because you're gonna be more higher. You go more lower, it's gonna be difficult to control the drop of the glass, okay? So let's go now. In this case, the, way the arm is on my body. Right here, the way reduce. And right here, when I sit, it's gone. Now, I'm gonna slide in. You're gonna start inclining the glass, find the angle, the bin number, and just let it drop right there, and just set the corner right there. This is why I suggest the guys don't use higher because I'm gonna be close here, but I have to cut it. You know, it's something they want, and maybe they have problems with the clear on the top. That's what I think. Okay, and now I'm clamping. Remember, we have space, almost quarter for the clips, right there. Now, I'm gonna go on this side. We can see the glass is perfect alignment. Whoop. Remember, in this case, because sometimes it's a little higher in the angle of the glass, don't let it drop. Just don't push it, just let it go down and take that one off and the glass go down by itself. And this plan, let me take this one out. I put this one here and clamp. Don't push it down. A little gap. My molding. There you go. And you see, it's perfectly match. And now for the last part, remember, in this case, your hand is gonna be a little oh, difficult on this point, but you can grab it from here. So up a little bit and let it down. Okay. And this point, let me set my quick set over here. Okay, and um, I thought I got a spot, but now. Uh, right here. Okay, I got a little spot right here because usually we get grab the glass from here, but I have to go a little more deep. That's why. But in this case, you can use a suction cup just to hold it up and down, you know. But I didn't bring that one over here, so that's why. And as you see, so the glass is set already. You see, I gotta go just down here. It's quarter, 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 quarter. They have to replace it. I suggest doing before do the windshield, but they don't have it. And they hurry because it's Friday. They wanted this cut down anyway. You see, quarter space for those clips. Okay, so let me. Okay, guys, we set the windshield. Remember, they're gonna just replace those little clips right here. It's done. Let's go inside. So we have to cut the bit a little bit because they show me one car. They want to pull the car. 
now we have the hand liner down so we have a good good chance to see the glue let me go if i can see it's a little dark but over here you see nothing is really nice in the top it's really clean so i don't have anything exposed on the other side too but let me see if i can show you because it's dark over here i think i saw a lamp let me see if i can use it let's see guys oh, it's dead okay you see it's nothing exposed so it's completely clean okay guys so this is the windshield for the pilot you see the top is nothing it's completely clean you can see the bin side expanding but no squeezing okay guys so i finished let me go to the next one and i show you more sets with the quick set remember for the honda pilot 2012 the set will be only five from here not two and but two on the top because you gotta equal the bend of the glass when you set in the glass okay guys so see you in the next shot remember for 2012 or 2016 pilots no big deal okay guys let's see you next shot okay guys we have this one is a 2017 gmc sierra oh that's gonna come those kind of higher trucks come with landing part tool so they gotta recalibrate the camera after this so remember the quick set is attached already there now you're not gonna play with 10 fingers because you see the scoop right there on the hood it's gonna be 10 on top of that so you're gonna go almost to the corner another corner but right there so the glass in that way will be a little more higher remember this one you can work in any place 10 fingers or two hands open is the place to the quick set but you can uh, play with this guy any 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 spot you want except for the middle the middle is not good it's all the area to the right or to the left but will be any area of that not in the middle because that one the glass is going to move like this so it's no way it's not good you can do it but it's going to be difficult to control the set because when you lay the glass down it's going to mess it's going to touch the corner first and send it after so it's going to mess the corners with the glue so that's why so i got my quick set already set over there i'm going to put the glue um out of here because it's raining so i have to come over here because it's stopped and the rain and it stops so it's a really bad day so let's start over here okay this time i'm gonna use start on this part I'm gonna do it. I said no. Okay, so let's see. Everything is set. It's gonna be higher. Let's go. Over here. All right, let's see if I can get the angle here. I don't want to touch anything. Really tight one, this place. There you go. Okay, and now we're going to just sit here. Remember this heavy pet. As soon as you get there. It's done. Okay, now remember we're gonna find the pin number and let it go and set. All right. Now push them down a little bit. Let me get my clamp. I don't like work too much in this kind of shop because there's no room. All right, I'm clamping on the bottom, but it's okay. The other side, don't do it. Right. Remember, in this case, you're gonna be a little higher. Don't push it down because the angle here is more higher. You work in here, these ones go down, but like this, don't do anything. Just soon you get this one on. There you go. I'm pushing down. Okay, that's because it's higher here because you have this kind of design is more higher one in the regular 
this one go down first but if you see the glass a little higher just just put this one out and that's it okay i'm now gonna push them down that's when the rocks hit the roof it damage go inside as you see it's clean it's clean this one you can do more faster if we are if we are uh, we are outside there's more room you can walk free here is very tight okay you see it's clean and it's clean Okay guys, I'm gonna just plug everything on and let's go to the next one. And we're almost done to the day, it's Friday. See you next. Hey guys, good morning, it's me Luis. Today we have this one, it's a 2013 or 14 Camaro. So we'll be placing the glass. Remember, we have the quick set already set over there. Now remember, when you have this kind of hood, like a scoop, a hood over here, you don't have to play exactly on the 10 fingers. If you have to go to the corners or almost to the end of the corner, you can do it the same like the sidekick. The only difference is you have more uh, easy here just to slide in the glass in the last part and set up so that's the place for the Camaros all the way to the left so I'm gonna put the camera in the front and show you how it's gonna work let me just get the better angle over here I'm gonna set the camera over here arm is going to be set on the left side look at the glass right there sliding and just find the pin number and there we go and today i'm not going to use the anchors because the glass is very light Now remember something, if you, if you see the glass doing this, don't push it down, just leave it like that, okay? Because that's the angle for the glass. So the only you have to do, hold it here and let it go, okay? Okay, and as you see, you see the glass is perfect alignment and let's go over here the only have to do here is pushing down and the glass alignment i don't have to use tapes or anchors okay guys so we finished so see you in the next shot okay guys good morning today is a sunday we have this one is the 2018 civic four door so we'll be placing the glass so we got everything set you see the skies is really bad we got a rain coming so i go fast today i got the quick set already set on this one now for this kind of model you're going to use the second attachment because it's going to be an angle remember hondas coming more in angle so as you see i have the second wheel of the tear on the hole for the wheel so not really high because remember you have the corners over here so i'm going to set the glass with this one and let me just put this one uh, right here let's gonna set here remember this is really light it's not really heavy okay I remember left your arm on the hood and just slide in find the bin number first and let it go I'm using tapes today because this rain is almost on top of my head. Remember, if it's a little higher here, don't push it down, just put a tape. Hold your fingers, move the fix it, and there you go. And that's all, guys.
And as you see, the glass alignment, I have to do just pushing down. All this alignment here, the bin numbers, this perfect set. And here, just pushing down, pushing down. Okay, guys, I gotta cut the video because you see the sky. We got the rain almost here, so let's go. I'll see you the next shot. Hey guys, it's me, Luis. So we have this one is a 2012 Honda Civic four door. So we're replacing the glass. Now this one has a lot of problems. I saw blades, you know, when they get the moldings, they have rusty problems. So I had to fix everything on this car. So it's gonna take me a little time just to fix it. Now I'm gonna use. You can see that a lot of urethane here. So I'm gonna use um, the quick set. Remember on this windshield, you're gonna extend it the tubing because you're gonna get this the exactly the this spot. You're gonna reach that bottom. So is my uh, alum so now I say first wheel is enough you can go to the second the second hold if you want remember you can work on the driver's side or passenger side so this one remember you're gonna go up this one and you're gonna just put under here and remember you have your in the middle one and two just two hands open hand and that's it that's all okay so now this one is really bad it's broken a lot so i don't recommend it uh sliding on the quick set but you can so just careful don't damage your wheel it's not going to damage because it's nylon but you can stick the glasses on the nylon you have to clean before i mean for the next install you're going to damage your glass with the those kind of dust or tiny glasses stuck on your wheel so remember not pulling from the corner just from here, the same that when you pull in the windshield in a regular way, you see, it's broken really bad. So, let me see if I can get this one out. Just from here. Because the windshield has a broken on the corners. So remember, you see, this point right here, slide in, and this point, you get perfect spot to rise the glass, okay? So that glass is cheap, it's just gonna have to mark it. But, This one is, this is a Poyao. You see, too much glue, corners, too much on the bottom. Bad, this is scratches, start rusty. I have to clean those. I gotta just scratch it with those kind of equalizer paint. I gotta just scratch in primer, I'm just making clean, no rusty. And that's all, okay guys. So I'm gonna get the glass ready, clean all the mess over here. You can see the scratches everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. When the people use the long knife like this, so I have to just clean everything, okay guys? So see you in the next shot. Okay guys, so we wait already more than five minutes just to let it dry everything. The primer, I had to fix, I had to fix the scratches on the roof. Everything was really bad. So I got my Sika ready. I just use the activator because it has a frit. And we're ready, just make sure my tie. You remember, you're gonna play in the first hole. You can go to the second one, but it's gonna be a little more higher. Just the first one is enough, okay? So let me just get this one here. Remember, at this point, they can be the glass heavy, but soon you get to your body, the weight reduce like normal thing. You see, it's all my hands on my shoulders. The weight is right. I didn't put my protection on my hands, but I don't need it. So what I'm doing, remember, you're gonna set the glass at this point, the weight reducing, and right there is gone. Okay, so you're gonna find the pin number right there, and just let it drop. And that's it. Okay, remember don't push it too much because you're a little higher on this point. The only you have to do, you see my glass is not moving anyway. So the only you have to do is clamp. Pull a little bit, don't push it down too much because remember you get an angle, you can just make some damage. So just right there. Now on this point, you see my glass is completely alignment. I don't have even worry about the tapes right now. You see, that's why two quarters from the glass, that's where you're gonna find the edge right here. Right here, it's not gonna dent or make damage, but I don't like when, do you see, the metal go down a little bit, don't make me feel safety. I like more when it's supporting and the edge because that's more stronger part of the, of the body. So right there, let it down. Remember, the corner is down. This one is higher because I had to push it down. Don't do anything, just leave it like that. And don't push it from here, remember. The rules from here nothing to push because you can break the window okay now use your finger or you know just at the edge go and let it go 
And after that, you have to do only pushing down, 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 down. Just make the gap close, okay? My bin number is fine. When you're pushing down, hold the middle. This is really weak and thin. So just go down a little bit. You see the, the V expanding. Because sometimes the people don't push it down too much. So they push it, but they, you see the metal down. And sometimes the glue, the glue cannot be flat. So just go like this, holding. A little bit, a little bit. You see the V now expanding. And as you see perfect alignment here I don't have any gap here it's completely tight and straight and the same way over here now let's go inside and take a look ah, okay as you see she's just there you don't have anything exposed outside okay let me take this one I want you to see nothing this is an old spot okay it's no new one so right here it's clean it's clean take this one and it's clean okay so as you see when you set with the quick set you don't have to worry about about the mess with the glue now remember the quality of the urethane can make the difference in the finish if you're using 418 I don't think you're gonna have any problem because it's the same weight like any seal the only thing that seal is really smooth really thin and some people had a lot of problems with the squeeze inside or outside but with the quick set you don't have any problem because if you put the urethane on the body you can set the glass if you can put the urethane on the glass not a problem the glass set soon you find the bin number okay is when you see this set is going to be easy because sometimes the more problem we have is when we blind on driver's side on the passenger side if people remember in the old days uh, Equalizer made some little glasses, mirror glasses on the corners. You can set the little mirror just to watch the corner because that's the problem with the glass. Sometimes you don't see it. But using the quick set, the only you have to do is when you set the glass, driver or passenger side. If you're on the driver's side, you're going to find with the bin number. If you're on the passenger side, you're going to find with the corner on the bottom. So as soon as you get the corner, down. You got the bin number here, go down. And you see, is no problem with the seal okay so this guy are coming for the body shop so these guys i hate when these people don't finish the job on the right way you see they don't put the moldings with the right is they only open the the, the work strip and the mold is going that's that easy but some people they're lazy okay guys so i'm gonna see if these guys has this one looks like they pop i think they have the other pieces it's easy to go in here so i will ask the people if they have it i just finished the job okay guys so I got this video, remember this is a 2012 Honda Civic, I got 2018 Civic 4 door, the windshield with the sweet quick set and the, and the Camaro, Chevy Camaro, okay? And a couple of videos for the body shops, uh, pull outs, quarter glasses. Okay guys, thank you, see you the next time. We're back on this one, it's the, it's the Nissan Murano 2017. So we're gonna replace the quarter glass, I'll take them off because it's a uh, R and I. So now this one, if we want to take this one now to have access to the glass, uh, we'll be fine. The only problem is this kind of part sometimes is really harder, especially on the bottom. You can take these clips out or you can take this one out, but this one will still attach to the body. The moldings attach to this one. So now, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna work with this one. So this is the same mold as like the, you know, Nissan has those kind of clips, molding. So first we're gonna do, we need to open the molding a little bit on this way, not too much, okay? Because you can break those clips and I don't want to break it because I have to save it so in this case you see I have access to those little clips right here I push down I push down you see that really easy now I'm gonna go down on this way and I'm gonna go just my hand twisting I got this one out already let me see if I can see the other one because they are inside here there you go it's right here this now is a little difficult because I don't see it. The molding is bended. I don't want to bend the molding too much. Let me see if I can have access. Um, what is mosquito or what? And I'm gonna go get access to here. I got one out. 
Now I'll go from the bottom. Right there. We just pinch. There you go. You can do one from here. Now you see what I'm saying is you see the clip right there? What I'm doing is go from here from behind and just push in right there and push in from here. When you open it, you're gonna go in the middle and take this one out and take this one out. Okay. There you go. And now these ones don't have to just pull down a little bit and that's it. Okay. So as you see, we have this small vents out already with no damage. Remember we have these clips right here, they're gonna stay here. Just careful because these ones are behind of these ones. Okay, you see? Careful when you put the blade in or you can just damage. So that's why don't be attentive to take this one out because you think maybe it's a cover. It's a cover, but it's gonna be more tight if you want to take them off to have more access to the quarter glass on this side because you don't want to damage maybe scratch this part or just break it you know you're gonna go let me take this one out because this kind of finish is really easy to damage especially scratch <coughs> okay now at this point <coughs> Remember, you see, it's shaking like this a little bit. I don't like to take this one out because it's really, really hot. It's under here. Let me see if I can have access to here. Hold on. There you go. There you go. Okay, one more here. Let me get that one. Because you see, when I pull in, you can see the pressure here. I said the skin of white clips, sometimes they can break the molding. Let me just, there you go. Don't miss that one, because you're going to reuse it. There you go. <coughs> okay, and you put this one back in place. So, this one is really easy, but believe it or not, sometimes this kind of thin plastic, with this kind of clips, they can just crack the molding. So, just, and this way you can see, you have the idea how you're gonna do and the next time you're gonna replace the glass the only you have to do is take this molding out and don't take this one out you can just put your quarter glass in right here so I did that one because I'm gonna get I have more access with my blade when I go up I don't want to damage the molding here and that's it okay guys and also this one so I'm gonna now start cutting with the GT well I can use one of my systems so let me see if I can go like this gonna go on this way and it's really low the glue and I don't wanna I'll give you this piece which one on the back all right guys so we take this one out so we have to get the video a couple of times because i have many people coming so we gotta do a long rubber too so so we take this one out because you see i have to cut this plate but they don't make any problem so we're finished here so it's ready to reuse it so we're ready to go okay guys so we finished let me go to the other one i have to put this one in take the land rubber and the rusty problem I have to take the back glass is the power no it's a manual but it's touch you know what that means okay guys and let me see what else okay so let me see how, how many poles we have and see you in the next shot okay guys so we're here in the body shop we're gonna replace wait, we're gonna pull some back glasses but let me get the music down because you're gonna make me problems with the video for the carpet right so let me just get it down right there okay guys so we're gonna pull quarter glasses i got this one at the jetta 2015 i got this bmw and got the new murano and just put some glasses back in so first i'm gonna use the gt so i'm gonna open this gap a little bit let me just 
lubricate this area inside sorry about that gonna put lubricate this one and I open this one a little bit it's enough So we're going to take both of the quarters Now what I do Because what I don't want Is be going You know back and forward Because the problem sometimes these kind of shapes on the blade They can cut the moldings a little bit So what I do I'm just going to hit with the rubber helmet I mean down Because you got to be lubricated this really well So like this the only thing we have to do is hit like this, you see? And this way, you cut in, but no damage the rubber. Don't get the sharp core more up, or it's gonna cut. There you go, you see the clip right there? Not much. A little hit. And now we can just cut part of the bottom. There you go. I'm gonna just back the top. Okay. Make a little cut right there. Okay, you see at this point, you gotta pull it a little bit and just go over here. Okay, this one. Now we gotta go to the bottom. And the last cut. Now remember, if you want to save that clip, because look at the video, because I have to go and ask him about if they're going to take the other side, because now it's both sides they're going to take. Remember, we stop in this area. Now this one I have, I make this one because what I'm going to do is cut around the corner, because sometimes these corners come a little difficult. So with this one, they only have to do is just cut little bit like that yeah the corners and the small ones because sometimes they come a little difficult right there there's not much just a little piece of the corner right there okay and that's it because I want to save this clip for it's gonna be my guy with the next time I see the quarter I know what's gonna be okay guys so now I go with the other side Okay, and we're gonna make the cut over here slowly. Just right there. And we go down over here. Gonna hit a little bit here. a little bit with the finger just to make the room there you go okay and now the last part I'm using this one I make this form because I'm going around the clip. And that's it. And you see, you keep this one. And I'm going to reuse it again. 
Okay right, guys, so we finished here and now let's go with the BMW. I'm gonna cut the video because I'm gonna just tape on. I don't wanna scratch it because it has a tin window. So see you in the next shot. Hey guys, good morning, it's me Luis. So one more day is a nice morning. Yesterday was really bad, a lot of rain. So today we have this one, it's a RAV4. It's a little low in this part. It's a RAV4 2018. So I'm gonna replace the back glass, it was broken. Very easy. So many jobs, I mean, many guys already maybe done this one before. Remember, it's nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. This is Ford. Remember, if you open over here, don't make any sense. But if you wanna just see what is inside, as you see, it's just for about, you know, the wires and nothing like that you want to take them off if you want but you don't have to the same this way access for the bolts right there to replace the bolts when they are burned out uh, nothing to take them off so this one not make any sense to remove but I do it because I want you to see guys you don't have to do anything on this area now this one we're gonna take this one out remember a couple of clips I'm gonna drop it here because I don't want it. it's a school over here so we don't want it drop Remember for the school some codes for cities you have to stay away for more than 100 feet away for the door So that's why special for houses. I mean uh, schools and hospitals. So we remember we put the corner here I'm gonna drop it here. I gotta clean all the mess or they can just give me a ticket For less the mess over here. So I'm gonna come here So as you see really easy now the panel remember is just clips. It's nothing else um, let me go because I'm very low with this tail So I don't see too much. This is for the emergency locks open. So you see these holes right there That's what you insert your bars or you pray with bars Just insert So that is the change we actually make on his when you open from here it's gonna release the other ones, okay? Open it. I like more plastic than screwdriver. Screwdriver sometimes they make scratches over here so you see it sometimes but of course the technique okay as soon as I get this one done so what I do because sometimes these kind of panels pop and they I mean you can grab it at the moment it's gonna fall it's fine but sometimes they pop very really fast and it looks really bad when they drop on the ground so so what I do to prevent that problem is just tight it's kind of bungee um Roberts so just look at any place I mean in this case probably let me see which hole is the best a hole I need a hole right here let me just grab this one here this one in here and this way if it drop it's not gonna fall and make me look bad oh, sorry about the camera all right and one more And the last ones, remember, shake a little bit. Now, in case you don't, you cannot, you know, if you're not gonna drop it right here. It's gonna hold it in this way. So, so better than drop it on the ground. All right. So let me just tighten a little bit here, because I don't want to drop it on the ground. So what I do in my back glasses is just tighten like this. All right, and that's it. It's gonna stay there. For a little while let me just make sure it's not gonna pop right there all right so in this way so what I'm doing now remember you 10 millimeters uh, got here let me see power yeah I got two so you're gonna take this one I'll get it. don't drop it inside because they lost it that's it all right they almost there this one's there you go. Just gotta watch out for those kind of. Be now we got a one, so there's two more over here. Let me find it. No, I'll really take that one out. Sorry about that. You can use a magnet if you want. Just I don't find mine. It's somewhere in the truck. Now remember, this one you gotta take this time. Just this part. This one just leave it on the on the car. Just take up, open this one, and you will find another one over there. It's a tin. If the angle is too much, just can go low. All right, and this way, the bolts will, will fall straight, and no an angle making your nuts gonna the nut go. No nuts, I mean nut go 
inside. Okay, we got a four already. Okay, now no more. You got it. one over here. Remember, save those kind of plastic clips because if not, it's gonna fall. Let me just take this one out because always I drop this one here, but today it's a little, little windy. So let me just put this one over here, right there. And you see where it takes the one of here, two, and then the four. You see the big clip right here in the middle? So, what I do with that one is the main release clip so that one let me see I got a mess you know my truck I always has problems to make this one clean I know it's not an excuse but sometimes I can so we're gonna grab kind of this ones or any kind of pliers if you want you gotta just push it in because this is the main clip release so what I'm doing without break just push a little bit push a little bit just to release a little bit the pressure around the clips, especially in this point right here, okay? In this part. All right, I already released a little bit, not much, right there. Remember, don't cut it or break it, just to make to release, you see? Right there, okay? Now, remember, protect the area because the cover will be good on the other side. So remember, we're gonna just cover this area here. Here, right there, and now I'm gonna take this one out because I have to close the, the tail. Okay, I'm gonna take this one now. I'm gonna close here, remember. It's gonna be a little tight sometimes this tail. I try to don't get too many glasses in the tail, inside the tail because sometimes it's harder. My glasses are ready, I use activator for Sika. I like the Furial because coming with the moldings because if I have a YPN, it's not coming with the moldings and I hate that. So this one is YPY, coming with everything on. So that's nice. Except for the brush right here for the for plug, for the motor wiper, sorry. So you see it's lots of ready very easy you see you release the main and that's it okay now remember careful with this little teeny wire over here pull the plug and you're gonna get the main right here and the connections over here let me just grab this one I'm gonna take this one now a little bit okay There you go. And you can take the tail over here. Okay. Now we got all the room we need, and now we can start working outside. Now remember, take this one over here, the hose. This one, as you see, don't take it. Most of the time, you see these kind of covers in the cars. Don't take it from here. This model, remember, coming from this way. Don't take it from the back, or you're going to break it. Okay. So just from that side. Is it 10 millimeters okay and now on this one I'm gonna use my extractor because these guys sometimes are harder okay when you grab the edge 13 point remember left side this little point indicate we go to the top oh yeah now we're gonna just plug this one remember little glass cleaner the edge and you get in Never use lubricants like a O or, or, or W40. Many people use W40 to insert these ones or put the W40 inside. You can put some glass cleaners, but W40, the risk to contaminate is a lot. 
but you can do it you can control that point all right guys so this one is ready okay so as you see this is why always my video has to be cut okay because every time i have somebody come in front say something do something it's a business okay guys so uh, let me see now remember for this one honestly what i use is my long knife okay that's what i use to cut all this one i don't use nothing else sometimes i use the wire but the wire technique is nice i use sometimes if we don't want to mess all this mess let me show you if I can make it. Um, if you don't want it, if you have a time, uh, you can do it. If not, just do the like like the come knife. Don't lose your time. I'm gonna show you just how I do this one way. And I don't want to mess too much. Like if I don't have too much, I don't want to clean too much. Okay, it's very simple. It's a little difficult, and in my opinion, sometimes you're gonna lose your time, but sometimes works. Uh, last time I did this technique in one of my jobs doing the GTI because was i didn't have the body want to clean because the interior on the gti is very hard so that's why so let me just cut a little piece just a little piece so you're going to go on this direction so you're going to cut probably i say here all right this wire is already used for one of my wire technique for the jeep wrangler so that's why so I'm gonna put it right here. Remember, this is just worth the time on this one, but I'll show you how you're gonna do it. If you don't want it lost, you don't want to miss too much glasses on the ground or somewhere. Okay, you see? It's gonna pass like this way. So the same way you're gonna get the wire, put it in here, and just insert your line on there. Just go right there. The wires go more thick. Okay, so you get it. Put in behind. Remember what I said before, you watch your time here. It's just to show you how you can do it. You don't want to mess all these tiny glasses around, okay? If in case some interiors that are difficult to clean and we lost a lot of time. So that's when I do this, okay? This one is not a big deal. They're very clean, so I have to just clean the, the couple of glasses gonna drop inside. But if you have those one of GTIs or interiors really difficult but it has to be like this like SUVs because the back glasses for the sedan sedans you can do it but take a lot more work because you gotta go more you know on top of the car or you are too far from the corner so this one is easy because you can go beside when you're cutting so let's gonna cut here okay this one the problem is if one of the wires fell you're gonna cut yourself is the problem with this technique so that's what I'm saying. Don't lose your time. Just use your cut knife, long knife, and that's it. Okay? More easy and simple. But sometimes the long knife is a little problem. They make scratches always on the pitch wheel. If you don't control the cut. So that's the problem, okay? So now let's go over here. The only you have to do is make the cut. Y perder su pinche tiempo. Par de Dios. Okay, what I'm doing is put the wires here, right there, okay? Now you're gonna do is just pull it, pull it, pull it, okay? You gotta go the line here, the same like you're doing when you're cutting the windshield, okay? But I'm saying this is worth your time, it's fast, but you can do it more faster with the long line, no matter what, take this one out. same way this is why I already use that's why a little more problems here but this is the way okay do the same way get the technique let's go on there on there there you go don't touch the metal never touch the the, the, the paint it's just let it go come back this way and just pull okay as you see I'm not pulling this one because this one's gonna be too close to the body it's just the top like this okay always close here but the wire in the top go 
in this way okay you already cut the bottom you're gonna do the same way for the top now this one's gonna change you're gonna go the same way here okay this is a big gap over here okay now this one we have the clip okay so we gotta just break that one this one this is the more thick and stronger clips on the half put another one over here And we're gonna continue doing the same thing. Remember now this time you're gonna turn around this way. You see? It's very easy when you get this technique done. You don't mess too much glasses, but what's your time? Okay, is the only problem. You see? Very easy. But this technique only works nice on the HUVs. Sedans, uh -uh. it's not good. You see that? Really nice. Now turn around, make the turn under here. Okay guys, so we're ready. I'm sorry, I had to cut the video and the last part cut in here because I have a customer asking me for the price. So remember, it's very nice technique, but remember, careful on this area because I already dominated the technique, but sometimes you gotta tape this area because if not, when you finish the cut, it's gonna fall on the paint, just careful. I didn't do it because I know this technique when it's gonna fall, but careful, okay? I gotta disconnect this one, this is a, uh, the ground power, nothing big deal. So I'm gonna set this one fast because I gotta go fast today. And I'm gonna put some videos for the quick set today. So let me just set this one already. It's priming and everything. The bee is on the pitch wheel today. Remember, I'm gonna put the guy right here and just set. Little push. What I like with this one is the foil. The dots for when they, they hold the glass, I mean, on the mold is on the top. Some is on the bottom, like the FY or PGW. And it's really bad. You know that this mold is a little loose. I'm gonna just fix it right away, right here. It's just coming out. There you go. I got, I'm gonna put some glue in that corner because when they put it in the box, it, it's good. They come up a little bit, but not a big deal. Okay. All right, guys, so we're finished here. The fish and that's all. We'll take this one out. Not much to adjust. Remember, this is our stop and adjust. So nothing to get we have to fix i'm moving to the left to the right just make sure this alignment with the edge in the same way okay guys and inside ah. i got a little noise i gotta still get some glasses inside because remember this one has a glue inside and they catch the glasses so i gotta still i gotta vacuum a couple more times and as you see we finish i'm gonna cut the, um, connect the ground the power um we finished guys okay Thank you for watching. This one was the wrap for 2018 back glass replacement. Thank you for watching. I got some videos for the quick set today, uh, tomorrow. But I will set some, I uh, got a Honda Civic four door 2002, um, 2018 uh, Civic four door and Camaro 2014. So see you in the next up guys. Let's go. Okay guys, so it's time to remove the quarter glass from this BMW two door cup, remember, this one, the molding has the clips. I didn't take the moldings, the guy did it and they missed in a couple of clips. So remember this one, when you want to replace the quarter glasses, you're going to take the molding, the trim, this kind of moldings, you know, the same clips as the windshield, all the way to the front, to the back over there. And the bottom has another retainer clip molding, so that's all. This one is going to be a little more easy because it's almost flat, no flat, it's got a car, but I like more because it's more longer. And this one, I'm going to use the long GT. I'm going to open it or go in with the small one and after that i go with the big one okay so let me just set that one 
on the floor right here because I don't want to make any damage inside. Somebody protect the glass has a window team. So let me just lubricate all this area. You see, I'm gonna cut that part of the video, okay? That's why I cut the video every time. Okay, so we're gonna cut first. Todos, todos, les encanta. Okay, so we go in. Sorry, I gotta cut some parts of the video, like always do. Remember here, you gotta just start go down. Sure, the interior is fine. I pulled the molding from inside a little bit because I want to get a little more room. Alright. So when you open and you release. They put a lot of glue right there in that corner. You see? I have to repeat many times. They cut them the bottom because they put too much on the bottom. Okay, now we're gonna just expand this one a little bit because there's too much glue on the bottom to the molding so I don't want it damaged you, gotta use, you see when I'm pushing here the molding you can see how much glue they have the other way to do it is open this one and cut but I don't, I'm not going to risk to make any cut on this area or it's going to be a lot of mess so let me see if I can do it with that stress too much Usually you don't have to go that low, but no choice today. Alright, now let's go back over here. There's a lot of glue on the bottom right there. <coughs> Exactly on this side, you see? So listen, slowly, but almost there. Because my glue is under here, so if I put something under, you see what is the glue at? It's just too much. Let me see if I can just go behind. There you go. So ready out. Open it. I'm gonna cut a little more here. Remember, the gold, this one is not scratched too much. And don't scratch the glass. Alright. This one, the only have to do is just cut this area. There you go. Yeah, they put a lot. There you go, you see? How much glue they got? I think they broke this clip and they put some urethane to hold the molding, that's why also. You see? When the molding catch everything. 
you see how much glue they have they went too too low here but no big deal okay guys so we saved this one we're gonna reuse it because they put too much glue that's the metal clip for here so that's why they catch the urethane and it's too much okay guys so usually this cooler glass has to come in in one piece this one you have to save it but this one has been already replaced before so probably the other guy is damaged already because I didn't make any damage so let me just take the tape out we clean it and we finish okay guys so see you in the next shot we're gonna take the Murano quarter glass I had to strip the moldings and everything and see you in the next shot I'm gonna clean this one of the worst spots gonna be attached to the glass okay guys see you next shot